my hello and good evening to all of the listeners here so today i welcome with me another ranker from inict may 2024 exam dr sushain he has secured a rank of 55 in the recently conducted inict exam all india rank awesome result congratulations very much thank welcome you, here thank you sir how are you sushain how are you feeling now i'm feeling very good sir it's been two days i actually cannot digest it completely but it's sinking in now very good so tell us about yourself where are you graduate from i'm from 2018 batch of rhs medical college in jaipur and okay. it is was my first attempt at inset so you have not yet written neat pg and you have already cleared inset <laughs> good good that's for you 2018 batch very good so tell us about your journey of preparation when did you actually start preparing for entrance examination so i made my notes along with exams in from second year onwards uh, but uh, i just made the notes and read them along with the books uh, for my professional examinations and from internship i properly started doing mcqs and tests and gts etc i started giving from internship onwards in march i joined the gnd program in dams and uh, f- from then only i started with all the questions and gts and then i started for inset preparation that's right so how was your experience with dams test and discussion you attended face to face or online uh, so i attended face to face at dams depot center and it really helped me in uh, first of all in march i did not have any orientation as to how do i have to do and there was no zeal or anything like that so that helped it a lot in march because we were like nay nay internship and for cool but that helped us to motivate us and that guided us that the end that was the best part i feel and secondly there were like a few concepts lacking especially in second and third year subjects i felt like my few of my concepts were not that smooth and that in that they really helped me a lot while because they explained every concept very thoroughly and that's what i feel that end helped me in so uh, there are many students like you who join tnd internship and they would like to know how to follow up and use dams tnd what is your advice for them so my advice is that tnd usually is from i think march to september when that's the perfect time for your first reading so i i just think that weekly classes may you, you should just complete the subject before the class and just give a tnd and then attend the class uh, properly and secondly i feel that that it is very necessary to give the test first like a lot of people i have seen that they just attend the i did that once but it was not useful for me i felt that without giving the test i could not solve in the moment obviously so i felt that that is an important part and just i think we should whatever note you have you should just supplement whatever you feel extra in the tnd so that it, you can revise it in every reading okay so did you follow the tnd schedule or did you make your own schedule so initially i was not able to follow the tnd schedule so i lagged behind but uh, in a month or two i guess i followed it along uh, till october or so till september or october i followed the tnd schedule so most of the subjects you attended offline tnd at the venue itself yes sir so how was your experience with the face to face classes so the experience was amazing the f- best thing i felt was that there were a few questions which i could just remember are ye class mein it was like that ki ha that was the best part and uh, i still remember in august uh, sumit sir had a class for us and uh, before august i can actually feel the difference in my preparation the way he motivated us uh, you know he gave us a lot of examples of how people cleared uh, in spite of many difficulties of internship and he also gave an example of a woman who had multiple sclerosis and she cleared and that was very inspiring he just said ki what's your excuse and that thing i guess stayed with me because i always remembered that jab bhi aisa hota tha ki i did not wish to but that was a really motivating force for me great so your overall experience was very good with face to face yes from so march to september along with the tnd schedule you finished the uh, reading then tell us after september onwards how did you prepare so after september onwards i just kept uh, revising like i uh, did one reading from october to um, december and then from january <laughs> i was planning to do another reading but definitely but that got postponed so i got a little slow but then i completed another reading from like mid january i started again mid january to uh, april i did another reading and then one final month i did another reading for rsc okay did the need postponement affect your preparation as well because many students yes, said sir. 
say it definitely did uh, uh, the pace i was at uh, it was completely lost for i think 15 to 20 days it was completely lost it was at jan end that i picked up myself again mm. and started it but i think it was kind of a boon too because uh, i would not have given i was at at with that mm. sincerity because i was not expecting myself to do so well i just thought that i would maximum if i put my all my effort i would get 1000 or 500 and that will not get me any seat so i was just focused on me before that but after the postponement i tried my best for i said do you think there is any difference in preparation for i said and me Mm, a little sir the basics that not do not change i guess the notes also in the same the difference is just that we more focus on particular topics and on pyqs i guess i know it is more heavily dependent on pyq so i just focused on that and the, the the rest was i think same the notes were same and i did not do any another source for that just the pyqs i focus more on apart from the test and discussion what else did you use in the e medicos app that helped you so i gave a lot of gt from the emedicos app and that helped me a lot because uh, i felt that gt told me about my preparation in an accurate way and the best part i felt was the video solutions because discuss discussing a uh, gt is a very tedious process i used i i did, say i discussed with my fr- friend i studied with one of my friends she also helped me a lot in that but still it's a tedious process to discuss all the 200 questions and the video solutions were very great like i in the morning i to wake up you, you need a video or, and that when the, uh, the video solutions helped me a lot so that was i felt it and uh, definitely cbt also i gave in the last few days from october november december all these three and then the second cycle too how was your experience with damn cbt so the damn cbt experience was great actually the because it he actually gave us a real stimulus honestly when, when i went for the first i said so Uh, I thought that this is so cumbersome, and I was a little irritated too. But then, when I went to the center, and the similar conditions were there, like we, like in the center, we had no AC, and I thought that I am prepared for this, and I was a little relaxed at that. I felt that that has a huge role. Okay, what is your general advice for someone who is aspiring to clear INSAT? According to you, suppose somebody starting preparation now. what would you like to tell him how to prepare so firstly i would like to tell that you have to believe in yourself at most that you can do it because a lot of people get scared that there are less number of seats in the high competition because i had got scared to if there had not been postponement maybe i would have not prepared to so i just feel that firstly it is to believe in yourself and secondly you have to be smarter in ins it you need to have to know many things but in ins it there are particular topics which you have to you know in deep and you know, you have to rely on pyqs and the pyt sessions and that's i feel that difference in, in ins it and just uh, believe in yourself is the main thing and then obviously you have to focus you know the topics you have to be oriented to that okay so before we close this interview i would like to ask you any particular person that comes to your mind who you would like to thank today so firstly my parents i the moment result came i think the best thing that was our happy paper mm-hmm. definitely i'm so you know i the motivation for neat uh, is my this only that my parents will get to be happy again so definitely them and my friend my girlfriend also because she's she's preparing along with me only and she every day she helps me a lot in every way she handles me and that's great great okay so which branch would you like to specialize in sushan have you finalized it sir most probably i feel that i sh- will take medicine so we wish you all the best for your future endeavors okay thank Hope you sir. that you succeed again always in future our best wishes are thank you so much for being thank you so much sir